By the way, is that a scoop? Yeah, it's, it has, it's the first Breaking time it's news. out there. Totally. I love it. Before the Today Show, I, I said love it here. It. Breaking news. Yeah. Welcome to winter in Tel Aviv. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect day. I'm now in Petr Tikva actually, going to Gem's Beer Factory. You've seen it before. And I'm going to meet literally one of my favorite people, Ziv Elul, who is a CEO of a company that hired me in my first tech job. Literally, I was in finance and he recruited me to a company called Interactive, which was in the mobile advertising space. Long story short, I'm gonna to try to get him on camera. He's extremely humble, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but long story short, he was acquired for a lot of money. And not only was he acquired, but here's the kicker, and something that never happens. He was then appointed as the CEO of the acquiring company. So he was acquired, and the company that acquired him made him CEO of them. That doesn't happen. That's how big of a rock star he is. Uh, and he's equally humble, so it's going to take a lot of arm twisting to, for me to get him on camera. But the guy has incredible insight, so it's, I'm gonna try hard. And also, Gems is amazing. So hopefully Jeremy will be there. You met him last time. The guy's nuts in a good way. And the food there is bananas good. All in all, I'm very excited about this meeting. And it's a beautiful day. Come to Gems and we have a chopped liver waiting on the table. That's called VIP personal service. And this good looking guy, which we're gonna get on camera later, he doesn't know yet, but we're gonna get him on camera later. All right, now we're eating. We have like four minutes till this good looking guy with this amazing <laughs> shirt has to leave. So I'm like turning on the camera. I'm like, we're not even oh, doing any introduction. Enough. All right, listen, here's the deal. Yes. Okay, the deal is as follows. You're a very humble person, so you're not gonna accept what I'm about to say, but I don't really care, okay? <laughs> I am living my professional dream, and there are maybe three people in my career that I can say I owe a majority of that yeah, success to. Yeah, listen, it's your, Ziv, it's your success. Ziv, no, stop this it is now. me talking, not you. Listen, <laughs> Ziv Elul, You're exaggerating. Ziv Elul yeah. gave me my first job in tech. Is that fair? It's okay, yeah. Okay, we can say that, right? Yeah. I was working in finance. Like, I was like not even in tech. I love tech and I had no way in. Comes along Ziv and his friend Sandy Hammer, who I give shout outs to all the time, came to meet me in Rosha Ayin and said, <laughs> what are you doing in finance? come to tech. We have this company called Interactive that is helping app developers monetize their apps. Why is that interesting? Because everybody has apps and no one pays for apps. There are better ways to make money. And so we, together, well, he built and I just supported along. Together with Ofer uh, Uday. Uh, Ofer Uday, yeah. my boy yes. Ofer, who I love. Yeah. And, and Lerone, his beautiful wife, amazing. And they have their She's Tesla amazing. and they give me rides amazing. in their Tesla every time they go to Silicon that's Valley. Correct. Amazing people. And they have amazing kids. Okay, now let's just, okay. So basically that's, that's on my end, on your end. Just give me, and I know we have like three minutes. We have exactly three minutes. <laughs> If you could sum up your journey, when, when did you found, when did Interactive start, what year? 2007. 2007, it's yeah. not 2019. Yeah. Three minutes, sum up your journey oh over the last God. 12 years, I wanna hear. <laughs> and then we'll talk about where you are right now. Three minutes, go. Wow. What happened in 2007, you started it, wow. why? Why we started? I Gaming, left, no? I left, no, I left the, the army because of the startup. Okay. All started at the executive MBA in the Hebrew University. Uh, it was together uh, with Ofe, it was then in the Technion, back then. Um, the idea was to start with, um, games right. uh, only in the mobile mm -hmm. back then on the days of Nokia this is before Apple only, yeah before before Apple. Apple. Yep. everything was Nokia wow. snake was wow. the popular uh, funny. game wow. good, old, good old days okay <laughs> yeah, and then it was the new new uh, Nokia which was N95 95 no then it was 95 I, I wrote a blog post yeah, about it that was, it awesome. was really uh, wow. way back yeah when we started we took 1.1 um, million dollars from private investors right um, we succeed to convince Logia which worked for Cellcom to have the first pilot and then we started to run See, after you have two uh, minutes you have yeah two minutes, two man. minutes and then we ran yeah. keep going keep going <laughs> we ran, we ran after all the aggregators of the world back yeah, then right um, it was not a tech company back then okay. it was mainly media one um, my main lessons from back then was that we need technology and innovation to and to scale right um, and we set me an offer in, um, in a coffee shop and we decided that we need to build the company to reinvent the company like any other company that you have uh, the first company and then you start again right so we had a restart yep. for a tech company and we built the exchange we went uh, towards publishers in one end um, to uh, network uh, and exchanges it was a mobi that was the first uh, exchange that we worked with it right. was uh, an ad network Zohar, even right? before Zohar? Zohar yeah, yeah. i know him very good and he's a great person he's a tv star now <laughs> yeah tv star and, <laughs> and i love him yeah and um, we succeed by going after the publishers in one end 
the, um, the networks mobile? in the mobile only, mobile only mobile. Got it. Okay. And it started to scale, and the revenue went up. We right. succeeded to go um, to Evergreen to uh, get uh, additional uh, investment. Right. Um, after very poor days, when Ofer and me, we had no salaries, nothing. Our shares became to be zero, Ilan. Zero. Zero. He's not exaggerating. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> right, yeah. That's totally true. Yeah. Um, and we got a minimum salary for an additional six months. Um, and it was really tough days, but we knew that we do the right things. Um, and we were focusing on taking the company for the next stage. Right. Thanks to that, the company scaled up. We went from 2 million to uh, a 5, from 5 to 13 million uh, revenues in a year, then to 21, then to 45 million a year with run rate of 100 million. Cash, cash flow positive, um, wow. revenues scaling year by year with more than 100%, um, and cash flow operation positive as well. And then we got offers um, to sell the company, and we had an option or to go 15 million investment, right. yep. or to sell go them. and to sell the company. I'm very happy to say that we had the right decision to sell the company, Ofer and myself, together with the back of the venture capitals and the investors with, that were with this decision. Yep. It's not that easy. By the oh, way, not you easy. It's your baby. Million. It's your baby, and yeah. we had 11 million for uh, nine years, <laughs> and then you get 15 million right. investment. Right. It was not a, just an easy decision, but it was the right decision. Okay. You don't you sold when we sold uh, two year, two and a half years ago. Two. Yeah. Who'd you sell? Who'd you sell to? Fiber. Fiber. Yeah. It was. What up, happened yes. next? Easy. Here's here's where he's gonna be a yeah. little humble. So I'll tell you if he doesn't say it. Who became the CEO of Fiber? Right. That doesn't happen. Th that's very uncommon. Oh. Come on. You can admit that. It doesn't make you a bad person if you're a little less. <laughs> you have a problem with this guy. You, the acquiring company taking a CEO that they just acquired, making them, making him the CEO. That's that doesn't happen. I'm telling you, it doesn't happen. And now, how big is this company? What is Fiber? Tell me. No, they, they, they decided to take me CEO, but I, they they really loved and they love the company. They love the interactive. They love the fact, the culture, and the DNA and the people. And, and also office. the management and the management. Yeah, they yeah. like the management and, and see today, it's uh, the management. Most of them are still in the company. They like the company. Most of the employees are still in the company. So love they it. love the culture. They love the DNA. Love the it. DNA you know, that you work with and for. And yes, this is the DNA of the company. I, I, still I, today. The best years ever. Amazing. I loved working with you. Listen, here's the thing. You don't know this, but you know what your claim to fame is? In addition to everything else we just said, you got me a selfie with Neta Barzilai. A week, <laughs> a week before the Eurovision, he got me a selfie with Neta Barzilai. What? All right, listen, dude. You're, you're like late to your next meeting. Listen, right. here's my only my only uh, call to action. Right. We can't wait another five years to have lunch, <laughs> dude. Seriously, I love I love hanging out with you. I know you're super busy. You're a big hotshot CEO. So let's thank you. celebrate Tu Bishvat, Ilan. It's yeah. a Tu Bishvat today. All right, let's Tu Bishvat. Do it. So let's that? just let's take startups like Tu Bishvat. It's okay. the same. You want to be like Ilan, like a tree. You Plant want to start. Seeds. You need something that is starting from that you establish from the beginning, and then. You have the fruits. So you need to be with a lot of patience to understand, even in startup, that you start small like a tree and then it becomes to be with this the guy, fruits. That's guy. life. And if you believe in it in your life, then you'll succeed. One more thing. Yes. I, I'm totally, watch him blush by the way. Watch, watch his face turn red. You ready? What did you do as a kid? As a kid? Yeah. What do you mean? I studied. No, know? you did something else. <laughs> what? Oh my God, Pistigal? This guy was like a child <laughs> model. He was like on TV. He was like a little model on TV. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you see, no, he's turning red. Yeah. Anyway, dude. Um, I love you, Len. Thank you so much, man. It was awesome. Uh, Hang on. We know, let's not wait another 10 years, all right, man? Seriously, <laughs> let's do it again soon. Man, I love that dude. Honestly, like he's super humble, but he really is a, a significant part of my career and just an amazing dude. So I'm going to Beit Shemesh now to have a meeting that's been scheduled and rescheduled several times. Jamie Geller, who's kind of like a major name in the Jewish food world. And we're also, I'm also connected through friends and family. It's a whole long story. Maybe we'll get it on video. I'm not sure. I'm assuming she'll be okay going on video. But uh, the meeting starts in about an hour and it's a 55 minute drive. So I got to get out of here. All right. So first of all, I'm a little starstruck. Oh, very I'm nice. I'm a little starstruck. No, I'm just telling you something. Listen, all right. So <laughs> I'm, I'm always fascinated by people who are, who have built empires single-handedly, right? And like, I it, took a village, by the way. It wasn't single-handedly. Okay, all right. <laughs> by the way, I always talk about this. This is an interesting just concept that the greater the person, I'm moving this back a little bit. Sure. The greater the person, interestingly enough, the more hum the more humble they are. I, f I found that in the okay. entrepreneurial world, like these big tech CEOs, no ego. Right. These little people who have done nothing, big ego. So, right. so, 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 I, uh, so I'll, I'll take the humility, but the bottom line is Jamie Geller is an empire. Again, I know Thank you have a you. team. I know you have a supporting Thank team. You I get it. <laughs> you, guys, you, you guys are amazing what you're doing. What you've done is unbelievable. I want to I hear the little background that you told me, but first and foremost, I wanted to mention that I am starstruck. That's number one. 
Number two, interestingly enough, we have, so good friends of mine are married into your family. And so, like I said, I, I, I saw you from afar at a wedding and I was like, I don't want to bother her. At a wedding her. at my mother's wedding? I know, wedding. but I don't, wanna, I I don't know if you wanted believe, to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. But I, it was just very funny. They're Ellie and CB are like, you got to go over. I'm like, she's in the middle of her freaking mother's wedding. And I'm like, but, but I'm glad we finally got to meet. <laughs> finally. And, it's been years in the making. 100%. I told you people from the States and CEOs of big companies that told me, you have to meet Hello Gold. You have okay. to meet Hello I'm so happy we did, especially since we're like five minutes away from each other. Yes, so totally. We could totally, we, we should totally meet again and, and follow up and figure out, you know, if there's any overlap in our world. Because I'm, you know. It would I, be so much fun. I'm on a smaller level, I'm you in tech. And so. A smaller level? Yeah. Please. You're yeah. okay. You're listen, hobnobbing with some big. Uh, you're on like <laughs> the Today Show. Let's not even. All right, let's. You win that game any day of the week. But let's just let's just talk a little bit about who is Jamie Geller. But first and foremost, if somebody right now want, wants to understand who is Jamie Geller, what is Jamie Geller, and how do they follow you? What is Jamie Geller? Talk to me, and how do they follow you? And then we'll give the background. Okay, so they can follow me at jamiegeller.com. J A M I E G E L L E R dot com. Perfect. Joseph, put the web link right there, baby. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so jamiegeller.com on social media, all our social handles on Facebook and Instagram are also jamiegeller.com, D-O-T-C-O-M. Interesting. Yes. Is that like a, is that like, did you actually do research and realize that that's a good idea? No, me? basically, I'm the second Jamie Geller, my uh, cousin, I married into the family, oh, she, and she owned all the Jamie Geller that's properties. Funny. So there's another hill up old also, I feel so bad for him, I'm sure he gets bombarded on Facebook. I always call, she wouldn't give them to me, so we're like, okay, jamiegeller.com. funny. Yeah, okay. totally. Okay. Cool. Um, and so she squatted on those properties first. Yeah. All right. And then also we have another hair and on Facebook and on Instagram, Julish by Jamie, which is all of our fun hands Julish. videos. Do you know Julicious? you know who that is? Uh, that's somebody else. Yeah, he's a I good know. friend of mine. I've Maybe heard, it, everyone keeps talking to me about him. He's so. like a huge, huge Jewish blogger, huge. Yeah. Mega, mega influential, amazing dude. So. David Abid, boy, he's from Jerusalem. Yeah. Everyone meet me, it made him let me know. I'm okay, an amazing so I dude. feel like Julish should meet Julicious. Totally. Okay, All right. I'm coming for you, Dave. Dave, man, let me know. <laughs> you guys should totally meet, he's amazing. Man. Okay, cool. Just, we talked a lot about giving in our meeting. Yes. The guy, like, for, for nothing. He just helps me out on YouTube, makes my thumbnails and stuff. He's just wow. like a good guy. He's really an amazing guy. That's good people. I love good people. He is good people. Yeah. Totally going to connect you guys. Okay, go on. Okay, so that's how you can follow me everywhere. And Done. basically, we have over 10,000 recipes, articles, and videos about cooking and entertaining with ease. So we don't sacrifice flavor, but I would say slavery so yesterday, in and out of the kitchen as quick as possible. But with ease is important because I can't make an egg. Right. I that's probably like, why they haven't had you on the Today Show to cook. There you go. That's, that's the reason. Why. That's totally. the reason. No, but like, you know, okay, so that brings us So now us you to... can. Anyone can do this. I was a TV producer. I was trained to be a marketing executive, not as my mother says, barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. Right. And if I can do this, anyone can. I'm just saying, you know how like they say like, you know, Jews can make Jews jokes, but like non-Jews can't. Uh -huh, you can't uh -huh. I can say that. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can say barefoot and pregnant. I can't yeah, say no, it. You if can't. I got to say those words, I'd be done. Like, <laughs> totally. YouTube would ban me. Like, I'd totally, be done. Totally, yeah. Okay, so this is a good and we don't want that to happen. 100%. Yeah. This is a good segue into like how it all started because like you said, I mean, you were, when you say you were a TV producer, just to be very clear, we're talking CNN, we're talking HBO. Yeah. A hot shot. So that was your thing. You were. That's what my know. dad calls me, but like not in a nice way. <laughs> he thinks such a hot shot. That's funny. People say to me, oh, you're famous. I'm like, my mom thinks so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So like you were on your way to like, you know, that world, yeah. let's say. Okay. And then you got married. Yeah. Can we, you can tell me if I, you want me to edit this out. You became religious. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Okay. So. I'm proud of it. Okay. I'm just making sure. I don't know if you want to talk about your background. Okay, yeah, fine. So you, yeah, yeah. You got, you got married and you basically, okay, tell me the story. Yeah, I got married and my husband day. was like, what's for dinner? I'm like, I don't know, you tell me. And he actually taught me how to cook. Get out of here. Yes, and That's he wild. had all these simple, easy bachelor recipes. And so my first, and probably today most famous recipe, one of my most famous, is duck sauce chicken, okay. which hubby Sounds taught amazing. me. You take the chicken and you put the duck sauce in it, you put it in the oven. <laughs> it's in my first book, okay? <laughs> I'm not even telling you, we got just as much hate mail, hate mail as we got good a reaction. First people were like, why is that a recipe? And then I can't even tell you, it's one of the most trafficked recipes on my website. Okay, so People love it. You said, in, I think you just said, in the first book, one of, how many books did you write? Six. Okay, like as a person who's working now to try to write a book, that is like. Yeah, but I mean, it's over probably 13 years. Right. So I'm saying, when did you right. start writing your book? This year. Yeah, so 100%. I'm saying, add another 12 years, I bet you'll have more than six. I'm for sure going to ask you for advice on how to move forward once yeah. I finish writing that book. Yeah, I don't think you need much advice, but I'll be no, thrilled like to help the you. The process, like the publishing. Yeah, I don't yeah, really yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, so how big is JamieGeller.com? I mean, what do you mean? How big is this empire? Because again, like, I, you know, if this is getting bad, 
embarrass you. I'm sorry, right. but you're, you're an empire. Like you're a real name. Like people. Thank you. I just walked in here to this cafe and there were three women sitting there. One of them is my kid's teacher, and I said, "Oh, I'm eating Jamie Geller." They're like, <laughs> are you serious? Like you're Thank no, you're you like so much. You re- it's funny. We talked about this also. And again, me at a small scale, but you like you put stuff out there. You don't realize how many lives you're impacting. It's the most amazing thing. It really um, is. We. I actually I work with the Waldorf Astoria in Jerusalem, and I gave away to um, nine lucky fans coffee dates in Jerusalem, and I just met with two of the fans today, and I, you know, obviously I met with them, and I was happy to hear all the ways that I impacted their life. They were so, I was so much more inspired by them, and you said anyone on whatever scale, even if it's a one-on-one meeting or a coffee date or a business meeting, can impact someone else's lives and inspire them toward positivity. It's tremendous. It's 100, it, it, yeah. By the way, another thing that, again, you know better than me, but I'm just going to say is that's a statement that was always true, but that's a statement that's been amplified tenfold because of the internet. The, a thousand, million, bajillion percent. You can, like, yes. you can reach, I mean, the people, I mean, the people that you were able to reach, people I was able to reach, like, people that, like, for me, like, you know, I always give Alyssa Milano as an example because I grew up having a crush on yeah. her, watching Who's the Boss, and, like, totally. I was DMing with her yesterday. Yeah. Like, why yeah. is Ellen DeGeneres following me on Twitter? Like, crazy the stuff. The access now to people who you once revered and admired is unbelievable, yeah. and the impact, the ripple effects across the world over. I'm going to show you one thing. Okay? I can't wait to maybe see Maybe you it. don't know who he, maybe, I guess you do know who he is, but I'm just going to, just think, I don't want to embarrass you. Okay. So if you don't know who he is, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So my dream, the top of my, was Steve Watson. Wozniak, the founder of Apple. Oh, yeah. right. So this is me in Tel Aviv at the David Intercontinental, the founder of Apple. It's incredible. He built the first home computer. It's so Steve Wozniak. It's so incredible. Steve Jobs' partner. Like, yeah, yeah, for yeah. For me, he was like I saw the trailer to the movie. He's yeah, <laughs> I know who he is for like that. for me, like this guy, when he invented the home computer, people were like, Who wants home computers? Yeah. Like, that's the level. It's so we were incredible. We're sitting there in the day. By the way, there was a um, incoming rocket from Gaza when I was sitting with him. I had to rush the founder of Apple to a bomb shelter. Wow. Talk about surreal. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, that's the Never forget that meeting. That's true. Yeah. So okay, back to you. Okay. How big is Jane? Uh, give me talk to me about your okay, empire. Okay, so we have over 1.3 million followers on social media, and our videos have been viewed over 165 million times. It's wild. Yeah. That, so those are numbers I can't even really, fathom. It's such a blessing. We're so so thankful. Um, the content we produce, like we said, it just it's like authentic and true to who we are. It's the flavors of Israel and the Middle East and the Jewish comfort foods, whether it be brisket or whether it be like yaprach. You know what I'm saying? And everything in between. Pretend I know what that is. Um, that's Yemenite stuffed vegetables. So like when you stuff like a zucchini or an onion or a pepper with like rice and meat. Yemenites eat the best food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best food. So we do a lot of Moroccan food, a lot of Yemenite. But, but actually, Yaprach is actually Iraqi. I'm sorry. Oh. So yeah, yeah, but fine. Be careful. Yeah. I don't <laughs> no, want to no, anger those no, guys. No, no, okay. neither of them, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yes. So listen, I know that you're in a rush and I don't want to yeah. take too long of your time because you're somewhat yeah. of a celebrity, but I just want to say one thing. Somewhat. Listen. I went from having an empire to being somewhat yeah. of a celebrity. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being subtle here. You're, yeah. you're you're, no, you're, you, no you. honestly, like, yeah. I don't need to tell you this, you know this, but like, you have cornered a market. Like, I, I was telling you before, like, I talk to startups and I say, forget the word marketing and branding and all this yeah. abstract terms that mean nothing, empty words. Own your space. I love it. Own your, you own your space. Yeah. Complete dominance. You are the Red Bull of your world. Cool. Do I have to jump out of a plane? No. Okay, okay but here's the thing, right? I want to ask you a question. Sure. When I say you own your space, if I, if I said to you right now, what is your, meaning energy, you know, Red Bull's energy drink, right? Jamie Geller is? What? What would you? How do you define yourself? Oh God, I don't. You honest, I honestly don't own the space if I don't even what? know how to define myself. You, no, you're. you're um, I, I mean, I could answer for you, but what do you think? I'm curious. I don't know. Can you answer for me? I have no clue. I mean, you're the Martha Stewart of the Jewish world. Okay, I'll Minus take the it. jail time, as you said. Yeah, before. that's what we said. Yeah, so. everything but the jail time. Well, that's. I mean, as am I again, gonna have a show with Snoop Dogg now? And uh, yeah, that's. By the way, and I also show. that's also a fascinating thing about you, which is that on the one hand, you're I don't know if you call yourself ultra orthodox, but in any case, you're a very observant Jew, and the other hand, you're HBO, you know, and CNN and Snoop Dogg. You, you're super rounded in the cultural, you know. Mm-hmm secular world. No, it's also unique. I don't yeah. think most of your neighbors know Snoop Dogg is. Not mostly. Well, most of them weren't producers at CNN and that's HBO right. and didn't interview him when he came out with his new CDs. So, so that's last right. question. Last yes. question. As someone who grew up secular as as, as as a hotshot in the entertainment world, which is as secular as it gets, right. and now lives an observant, what do you love most about this life versus that life? I love the simplicity of it and the, mater- the lack of focus and emphasis on the materialism. That is the biggest gift that, that I is. could give to myself and to my children is to put 
that Hollywood, which I lived in this sort of uber materialistic fake society and really get down to what we call MS, which is like the truth, truth. and the love it. When I'm in America for whatever, for business, I, I land and I'm like, I love the cars, I love the food, America. Mm -hmm. And a week, a week in, I'm like, I want to throw up, get me back to Israel where it's yeah. all about substance. Yeah. Real death. Yeah. yeah. So I, I completely see eye to eye with you. In any case, listen, one, tremendous honor to meet you. Okay, thank two, you we'll do, too, we'll likewise. do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, we'll do it again soon. <laughs> what, you're three, not about a lot of talk about three, you? Three, no, no, no talking about me. But most importantly, and this is where we're going to end, because I know you got to go. Most importantly. To basketball carpool. Yes. The important things in life. It's true, by the way. That is true. Most importantly, and this is just keep this in the back of your head. If anything pops up into your head and you're like, you know what, maybe Hillel can help with that. I don't know if there's such a thing. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. But if something pops into your head and you're like, maybe Hillel can help with that, consider it done. Well, just can I tell you know. what's popping into my head right yes. now? So this way I can hold you accountable on like global digital yes. television. Yes, you tell. Um, I want to open the center for like a culinary experience center and a flagship store in here in Israel. Love it. And you are the most connected person that I know Let's in Israel. Let's make it happen. So Let's that's make it, happen. make it happen. By the way, is that a scoop? Yeah, it's, it has, it's the first breaking time it's news. out there. Totally. I love it. Before the Today Show, I, I said it here. It. Breaking news. Yeah. Consider it done. Let's yeah. let's talk about that offline. If I, if anyone's in my network, the dynamic of my relationships in my network, generally speaking, are I try to provide them with value. So when I right. quote unquote ask them for something, there's no hesitation. So right. if there's someone in my network that I want to facilitate access for you, it's done. Can, can I, I give you that? a quick, it's a itsy bitsy plug, but can I Me? give you one? How's I it? read one of your articles about how to make an introduction and ask for an introduction. Yeah. I think it's in your signature. And it, it was so, so valuable. Listen. It's so insightful, and some of it's like, duh, yeah. but a lot of people don't think about oh it. God, it. And you really framed it in such a really uh, intelligent, clear, easy to follow Thank way. Thank you. I appreciate that plug. Thank yeah. you very much. Your check is in the mail. I will just say one thing, though. The as long as it's big enough to open the Center for Culinary Experience. Introductions here. for yeah. me are like, because it, it's the fundamental pillar of business. Yes. Connecting and facilitating yes. connections, right? And if it's not done well at a, in a scalable and sustainable manner where I'm just getting 80, please meet this guy. Why? Who right. are? Are you, why are right. we introducing? Right. Like, it gets so awkward. Sure. And like, I tell you, I don't know. I think I wrote it in that article, but someone wants to introduce me to an exec at a tech company, and I get on the phone, and I'm like, Hey, what's up? And she's like, Hey, what's up? And I'm like, What are we talking about? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, How can I help? She's like, right. How can I help? I'm like, right. Lack of context. Right. Super awkward. Totally. To it's all about you spoke it right. about framing the expectations on both ends. Yes. Jamie, really great. thank you so much. My pleasure. I apologize. I didn't have the onion soup. Yes. That's just you made me. You peer pressured me into totally. ordering it. Totally. By the yeah. way, I, I, I'm going to throw in an idea, an idea out there because mm. I think our my asset. And your big, your biggest asset, my biggest asset, in our let's call it um, content production is our energy. Okay, I hear that. I feel like we should do something with food and tech, but but I'll put that out there. Wow. Just think about that. No, I'm serious. Think about it. Like, you have such strong presence. I have my presence. Like I feel like between our energies, like I feel like we could put on a comedy show. So this is our version of Martha and Snoop. Oh my God. Are you the Snoop this dog is of the tech world? I'm <laughs> liking this, by the way. But we're gonna continue this conversation because it's incentive to meet again. Right. Go to your basketball thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. This Thank was fantastic. You. Looking forward to next time. Thanks. Made it home. Well, as days go, today was off the charts, legendary. And I was thinking about it. A lot of times people tell me the vlogs are a little too long. They don't have that, this much time to watch. And I think about a day like today. Who would you cut? Orit? Efrat? Ziv? Jamie? Each one of them dropped major wisdom bombs here today. Couldn't cut any of them. Wouldn't want to cut any of them. And so everyone's just going to have to get over it. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. See you then.